The update of the Honda Civic brought results, a whopping 50% surge in sales compared to the previous year. Still, records are not close to the peak, 377,000 cars sold in 2017. The automaker will patch the 2025 Honda Civic. To find out what needs to be better, stay until the end of the video. If we missed anything feel free to share problems of your Civic in the comments section and find helpful advices from fellow enthusiasts. Here we go, these are the key fixes the company needs to nail. The oil gas dilution issue on the 2023 Honda Civic has become a significant concern. It's mainly hitting turbocharged engines, which are designed to enhance performance and fuel efficiency. Oil gas dilution occurs when fuel leaks past the piston rings and mixes with the engine oil, leading to a decrease in oil viscosity and overall lubricating properties. In the worst-case scenario, this diluted oil can throw a wrench in engine health and output. 2023 model year Civic drivers have reported experiencing oil gas dilution issues, particularly in colder climates or during short-trip driving conditions. Honda's stepping up with software tweaks, and in some cases, hardware upgrades, to improve engine calibration and reduce the likelihood of oil gas dilution occurring. Introducing a hybrid version could be the ultimate mod. It's a bit puzzling to see the compact car without such a fuel-saving engine, especially with many other larger vehicles taking advantage of such setup. But, market demand for small hybrids isn't as high, so Honda's not the only one giving it a pass. Even the HRV, the crossover cousin, isn't electrified. It would significantly increase the price of the 2025 Civic, which is already one of the most expensive models in the class. Instead, the company is focusing on enhancing other components to deliver a smoother, safer, and cozier ride. Also, the battery would add to the vehicle's overall weight, impacting its base mileage. So, finding the right balance between all these factors is challenging. This isn't just a subjective take, we're talking about real-world problems here. Many drivers are already complaining over missing must-have features. Take for instance, if you are from chilly climbs, heated seats and a heated steering wheel are among the first things to add. But, the Civic's lacking the latter. While they do offer heated seats as an optional upgrade, the driver's bucket could use some memory settings or lumbar support. The infotainment system has been updated, but a 12.3-inch screen feels like the natural upgrade for the 2025 model year. And no, it wouldn't appear too big in a compact car. Sport and touring trims look more appealing with their snazzy 18-inch wheels. The cabin is quite quiet, so you won't be rattled by every bump in the road. We kicked off by listing the must-have upgrades the 2025 Civic should score, and now it's time to praise an existing option, the manual transmission. The car stands out as one of the real unicorn in today's auto scene, offering a stick. Although it is optional. There are still a lot of old-school drivers who swear by this kind of gearbox. According to sources, Honda could pull the plug on this choice, leaving the Civic solely with an automatic power router. We've uncovered earlier in the video a thing owners are also complaining about. The price of the car. The sedan rolls out at $24,000, with the hatchback adding an extra grand. Despite mentioning some desirable features that could be added, the Civic is actually well-packed. Nevertheless, you can snag the base Toyota Corolla for less, and it's got Honda fans expecting some serious discounts on the 2025 Civic. These are just some of the issues with the current Civic that the new one needs to fix. Of course, we'd love to hear about your experiences and suggestions for improvements, or any clever hacks that tackled some of these problems. Thanks for watching and see you soon with new reviews.